Which one's better for leather work? Contact cement or water-based glue? Hey guys, what's up? I've been working with contact cement for a while now. Actually, since I've started leather working. It's easy to use and I can go to that big orange store and buy a can in minutes. But look, this stuff's bad for you. It has solvents in it, which are what allow you to be able to use it. If it didn't have them, it wouldn't work. And these solvents are what makes it bad for you. Essentially, once they've evaporated, then this is pretty harmless stuff. It's just kind of like a rubber that's now attached to your leather, it's fine. So if you don't inhale the fumes and keep it off your skin, don't light it on fire, it's probably totally safe to use. And contact cement forms a really strong, flexible bond, which makes it pretty good for leather craft. It's actually served me pretty well. So why bother trying the other stuff? Why don't I just stick with contact cement and be safe about it? So when contact cement dries, it's a stronghold and stretchy, and it's pretty good for standing up to, you know, wallets flexing and stuff like that. But what bugs me about it is that when I go to do the edges, I'll sand them. And because the stuff's flexible, it actually kind of pulls the rubber out of the seam and makes it pretty difficult to get a nice smooth edge. It's not impossible and I've been doing it for a while, but I feel like it adds a lot of unnecessary time and effort to my process. This is EcoStick 1816B. It's a water-based leather glue. It's non-toxic and it does not stink up my basement. It does say on the bottle not to eat it, but that's probably good advice for any glue. Honestly, I knew I loved this stuff from the first time I used it. Kind of reminds me of that Elmer's glue that you used to glue on glitter in elementary school. And it doesn't smell like it's gonna give me cancer. And it's way easier to spread on in a thin coat. I like to use this little trowel thing that I had in my house for puttying holes in the wall. I have found that it takes just a little bit longer to dry than contact cement does, but it seems to hold just as well. The best part though for me is that it eliminated that problem of the contact cement seeping out of the edges. It's just made it a lot easier to get a nice edge when I'm burnishing. I really don't know why it took me so long to try a water-based glue, but at this point I'm fully converted. I'm sure that this stuff does still have its place somewhere, but just for the ease of burnishing the edges, I'm all about the water-based glue now. I'll link this glue as well as a couple other popular ones down below in the description. I think there's only three. I think there's uh, this one here and then Renya Aquilum. I hope I said that right, I don't think I did. And then as well as Tandy has one, I think it's called EcoFlow, but yeah, check below in the description and I'll, I'll link those and any others that I come across. I think they're all pretty much the same. I could be wrong, but I've only used this one now, so I couldn't tell you. Is there a better glue out there or what are you guys using? This stuff has really opened my eyes, so if there's something better, I'd really like to hear about it. If you could drop it below in the comments, let me know what you're using. And before you guys move on to your next video or whatever you're doing today, if you wouldn't mind hitting the little thumbs up icon down below, uh, it would help me out huge. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, but.